Well, it's a good thing the Tigers just wrapped this one up. The rain is starting to fall. I'm joined by an extra Tiger here. We have Colton Neal and Chris Carrier. I'll start with you, Chris. What a week it's been for you here in the tournament, um, especially as a senior. Uh, what are you feeling here in Clearwater this week? Uh, it's just awesome. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful uh, environment. And it's a great teammates to be around, great coaches, and it's, it's awesome. Now, you guys had the lead in that game and had to ultimately be on the other end of that fighting back there at the end. But talk about how your team was able to persevere. I mean, take this one into extra innings. How'd you guys do it? Man, we just fight. I love how our team fights like that. We're just so resilient and just love to fight back. All right, thanks a lot. Colin, the game-winning hit and the winning pitcher uh, pretty much sealed up the deal in both regards. Um, what was going through your mind as you walked up to the plate knowing that this rain is coming and that you had a chance to just end this one so you guys stay a couple extra days? Yeah, um, love, it, love it here in Clearwater, but I was just saying a prayer, man. I was saying a prayer that I, I, could, I could have the courage to come up there and hit, get, get the big hit. After you got that big hit, it looked like a pretty fun celebration. Um, what was going through your mind in that moment? What was going on there with your teammates? Um, I was just feeling dangerous, you know. The Memphis Tigers are dangerous. You need to watch out for us. Fair enough. We'll go stay dry. Wear the, wear the storm. We'll see you out here on Friday. Enjoy your day off. Thank you. I'm now joined by Coach Stone Rock. Coach, wow, what a game this was. I mean, you guys are not only battling the weather out here and the pressure of that, but to hold the lead and then find yourselves down there in the end and to take this one into extra innings. I mean, how much did your team just continue to fight during this one? Well, we, we've been like that all year. We, we've had opportunity after opportunity to come back and I think this team has come from behind six or seven times during the year, uh, and, and we're built that way offensively. If we can get to the right part of the order, we can do damage. Now, today the damage was done at the bottom of the part of the order in, in the crunch time moment, and that was just moving a couple balls and drawing a key walk. Bogey draws a key walk, uh, but, but a lot of fight by this team, and that's something we have to do. I mean, we're a little bit thin in the bullpen, and we have to win the game offensively, and we did that today. Chris Carrier is having quite the week here so far. It's been pretty fun to watch him out here. But as a senior, how happy are you that he's been oh, able to perform this way? It's been unbelievable. Ever since conference play started, he really started clicking. And he's got a lot of, a lot of at-bats under his belt. Uh, he's a phenomenal worker. And, and he doesn't mind having the team on his shoulders right now. And he's getting swings off. And, and, he, and he's carrying us right now, no, no question. Well, Chris had left his mark in this game. I, I would say uh, Colton Neal is ultimately able to uh, be the winning pitcher and seal the winning hit in this one. Uh, what was, how did you guys kind of coach him heading up to the plate there in the end? Well, just you know, look for something to weigh. You know, he's going to try to work away. He doesn't want to hit you. Uh, don't don't do, try to do anything big. It doesn't need, you know, once we got to second base, once Carlos got to second, we don't need a home run. We don't need a double. We just need you to move a ball, and, and he, he gave us a great at bat.